In the stillness of a moonlit night, a chill breeze whispers through the trees, carrying with it a tale of suspense, a tale of horror. Picture a quiet suburban dwelling, the embodiment of tranquility, where a babysitter is left in charge of two sleeping children. But as the night stretches on, tranquility turns to terror. The phone rings, shattering the silence of the house. The babysitter answers, only to hear a voice, cold as the grave, saying, Check on the children. Panic grips her, yet she dismisses it as a prank. But as the clock ticks away, the calls persist, each one more chilling than the last. What's that? A creak on the stairs? The wind, perhaps, or something far more sinister? The voice on the line seems to know the house, knows the children, knows her. It's as if the caller is watching, lurking in the shadows, unseen but ever-present. As the terror mounts, the babysitter decides to act to unravel the mystery of the relentless caller. She dials the authorities, her hands trembling, her voice barely a whisper. Trace the call, she begs. Moments feel like hours as she waits, the silence of the house now deafening. The phone rings again, the shrill sound echoing through the house. The babysitter answers, her heart pounding. The voice on the other end is not the sinister whisper she expects, but the urgent tone of the authorities. Get out of the house, they say. The calls are coming from inside. Fear turns to horror. She's not alone. The caller is in the house, but as adrenaline courses through her veins, she makes a chilling discovery. There's no intruder. There's no menacing figure lurking in the shadows. It's the older child, the one she's supposed to protect, making the calls. A game gone awry, a child's prank turned into a night of terror. Relief washes over her, mingled with a sense of disbelief. The night of suspense ends not with a scream but with a sigh. A tale of horror, of suspense wrapped up in the innocence of a child's prank. The babysitter and the caller, a story that turns a tranquil night into a heart-stopping roller coaster ride. In the world of suspense, the line between reality and fear is often blurred, and sometimes the most terrifying monsters are the ones we create ourselves.